Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have another budget store find. This time it's Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Miniatures Game. Brought to you by WizKids. It's for ages 14 plus. It's an award-winning miniature game and includes 10 pre-painted miniatures. Enter the fray. Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Miniatures Game is the ultimate showdown between Wonder Woman and her adversaries. You and a friend can fight it out, play with carefully crafted scenarios, or create your own adventure. Recreate your favorite battles in different settings like Mount Olympus and Paradise Island with new easy-to-use map tiles. New to hero clicks? No problem. There are two dials included on each character in Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Miniature Game. One dial is more straightforward and easier for new players to learn with while the other adds a few more powers and abilities to work with. Both dials are faithful representations of their character. In this box includes all these great things. You can create your team using iconic heroes and villains. Face off head to head with your opponents. Be the last team standing. Play as a standalone game or combine with other Heroclix figures for infinite possibilities. And of course, it's compatible with Heroclix, the award-winning miniatures game. This game was released in 2021 by WizKids and NECA. For more information, go to WizKids.com. And of course, this game lasts 30 to 45 minutes. It's for ages 14 plus and it's for two players. So, let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. So we got a whole bunch of stuff here. We're going to start off with the rule book. Okay, it says DC Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Hero Clicks. Okay. Uh, say core, uh, core rule book, become a hero click mastermind your mastermind directing a team of super powered heroes and villains pick your favorites and you're ready to have epic battles against each other masterminds these rules explain everything you need to know to play hero clicks use your force of characters their equipment and potential battlefields to ko the opposition after learning the ropes of those figures and wonder woman battlegrounds you can start building your collection of characters with hero clicks booster packs trade to build the strongest force or collect your all your favorites build a team we got it this is the core rule book for 2021, so it's the most recent core uh, rule book that there is. Explains the base and the dial of the base. Basic concepts to win. In hero clicks, your characters will move around the map and attack your opponent's characters. The player who eliminates their opponent's force, leaving them with no characters on the field, is the winner. Characters, your hero click characters are most important pieces in hero clicks. They feature a cool sculpt, a combat dial, and a matching card. You got forces, the base, the combat dial. Standard powers, you have point values, combat values, click numbers, and how to use the clicks. You've got uh, starting lines, KO clicks, character cards, success and failure, action tokens. Hero clicks play areas, adjacency, friendly and opposing. A component overview tells you what we're going to have. We're going to go over that in the box. The hero clicks that are included, we're going to show you all those. Then you got building a team, themed teams, and playing the games. You want a themed team probability control and setting up objects. Again, tells you how to set up a scenario and a trading, a training uh, interrupted. Overview of play, your phase one, beginning of turn. Phase two is your action phase. You can take actions. You got free actions, end of turn, and then your clear phase. Moving what you can do. Take move action using a power of other characters, breaking away, placing, combat, close attacks, range attacks, line of fire. There we go. Then we've got attacking, count bolts, determine targets, determine hits, dealing damage, knockback sequence. Again, all different types of hits and misses, critical hits, critical misses, misses, destroying an opponent, close destroy, range destroy, destroying different types of terrain, other actions, objects, terrain, blocking, hindering, line of sight, or line of fire. 
So you got your other actions. You could be triggered, you could be passive, light objects, heavy objects. Then you get elevated movement, line of fire, transition squares, clear squares, other abilities, traits, improved abilities, team abilities, key phrases, inherent abilities, other carded information, advanced concepts, lost abilities and powers, multiple copies of power, size, name tokens, generate, names and sidelines. So you got 15 pages of rules on the back. They're hocking your new and other HeroClick products that you can purchase at your local uh, game stores or comic book stores or wherever HeroClicks are sold. For more information, again, go to HeroClicks.com. Again, this was released in 2020. The rule set is the most recent, which is a, from 2021. So there you go. You also have your chart as well. You get two of these. Get your charts that each player can get. And the game is for two players. It can also be played solo. So you got your abilities, powers, your different types of speed. Flurry, leap, climb, phasing, earthbound, neutralized, charge, mind control, plasticity, speed force, or force blast, all different types of abilities that they have. What you can do on your attack, the different kinds of attacks that you have. Your defense, again, all kinds of defenses. Your basic rules and moving. Back here, we also talk about your different types of damage that they can give. Ranged attacks. Inherent abilities. Improved abilities. Key phrases. Abilities. And all the kinds of things you got here. Size. General effects of size. Map terrain. Here, click silver rules. Here, click golden rules. So rules have changed over time. You've got to read the bottoms and make sure you're playing it the right way. So you have your two additional uh, hint sheets right there and you have your core rule book. Again, this is not a how-to play video. This is just an unboxing. You also have your scenario cards. All scenario cards are set up identically the same way. You have scenario A. So let's take a look at the first one. So scenario A, training interrupted. Wonder Woman and Wonder Girl are training together when they're interrupted by Medusa and the Cheetah. Why are they doing this? Maybe Wonder Woman and Wonder Girl can get some answers by defeating them. Map you'll be using is Paradise Island. The Euro player plays Wonder Woman and Wonder Girl at 30 points each. The villain player plays Cheetah Medusa. So again, your points should match up. So it's 60 points for heroes and 60 points for villains. So we're all up to, so all the cards are up the same. You got the title, photo, background information, what's included. Here I'll tell you the hero player. If you win, these are your rules that you win. KO Medusa and Cheetah KO one opposing character and get the other opposing character. Click number five. Proceed to scenario B. For the, for the villains to win, KO Wonder Woman and Wonder Girl. KO an opposing character while Medusa and the Cheetah are on. Click number one. Proceed to scenario C. So there's scenario A. Scenario B, uncovering Cersei's plan. S scenario C, saving Wonder Girl. D, Teen Titans take charge. E, Mystery at Mount Olympus. F, Dueling Rivals. G, Defeat Cersei. H, Defend Paradise Island. No photo on this one, but it tells you a bunch of things. Your map, you're going to be Paradise Island. Hero players, again, how the hero player wins and how the villain player wins. So there you have it. You have A through H. A of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight scenarios included in the game. You also have, let's see what else we got in the box here. Oh, you also have your silica gel. Don't throw it away, away and do not eat it. You also have a baggie full of cards and dice and stuff of that nature. Again, this is a used copy of the game, so everything was pre-punched. That's why they're not on the token sheets. So you start with two cool signature dice, which has the Wonder Woman 80th anniversary on there, which is always cool. So D6s. You've got some specialty tokens, which are right here. So you've got the hammer of Hephaestasis. You've got boots of Hermes, Aegis of Athena. You have Artemis's arrow, and you have Zeus's thunderbolt, and on the other side of those, Tells you 
information about it. It's indestructible equipment unequipped effect. And all of them are set up identically the same. So one side has the photo title on the back it has all the important information about the powers that you have. So there you go. You get one, two, three, four, five of those. You have some debris token. And these are special. So one side says special and the other side says debris on it. So stuff that you knocked over. You got some smoke. And special on the back, smoke. You also have a bunch of these, which are, you have an Amazonian warrior. Now again, if you look at here, you have your strength, your defense, uh, the damage that's inflicted, the, the, that's your armor. Uh, your 10 is your, your hitting ability and you can move up to nine squares fleet of foot uh, you get two action points all right uh, all right yep. so that's an Amazonian fighter on the back side this basically tells you what their extra powers are so got team ability Wonder Woman ally super uh, super senses but only succeeds on a six the character can already use super senses instead increase the result of all of its role for super senses by plus one okay so you got a bunch of Amazons these are Amazonian warriors all right a bunch of those and there's another one you got this one here which is shadow wonder one all right team ability wonder woman ally super senses okay same thing as the other ones but there you go as you can tell this is a little bit more powerful than these are over here the 10 11 18 and a 4 so it's tough to defeat that one all right so those are some more tokens that you got there then you have a bunch of these that say action on them. So they're all identical. Action on the front and action on the front. And some say small action and little action. So there you go. Those are also included. And you get a whole, whole bunch of those, a whole lot of those. I'll throw those over there. You also have some specials again with your barriers. And you also have some of these, which are different items that you could have. So you have a box or crate, a toaster oven, a computer or a motorcycle. So yellow means light, red means heavy. So it's a jackhammer or a frying pan. Again, motorcycle and a computer. You've got, looks like a ATM and a record player. And you got that, whoop, got, it looks like a frying pan and a jackhammer. You've got uh, a wrench and a manhole cover. Oh, that must have fell apart. That must have unglued. Happens sometimes. There you go. Again, a toaster and record player. You got your ATM and a crate. And the red is heavy and the yellow is light. Then you have a weight and a bench. Okay. Looks like some of them came unglued. It's all right though, it happens. Cool baggie that they came in. And you also are going to get some cards. You have the angler card. Point five ten. So it says about the angler. Equip any unquip drop. And it tells you the power, point value. And again, gives you more uh, information about that character. And again, your cards. You have one for Wonder Woman. You have two for each character. One is the basic card and one with just a little bit of information on it. And then you have 
the other one which has more advanced so you can see the difference between the two cards but you have a card for wonder woman all the cards are set up the same way up top it tells you the number of the card the point value of the card uh, that's wonder Woman 80th edition you have a picture of the click itself the team ability what their extra special powers are what their real name is right there you flip the card over it tells you where their key significant appearance and then tells you all that stuff there the point value is 30. Point five is 40 when you add in all the other extra abilities so you have wonder woman wonder girl diana troy miss martian mary shazam those are all your good guys bad guys are the cheetah cersei medusa star sapphire and silver swan clicks at the end we also have the game boards also so the tiles so I'm going to pull those over to the side for a second the game tiles are pretty big so I'm going to show you those one at a time so bottom here tells you Paradise Island Outdoor Gives you their and tells you how to set them up as well in the rule book and on the cards for um, for your different missions that you're going to be going on. And there's your different tiles. There's one tile there. So we'll pull these all over here. Tiles are pretty big. So you should have a tile there. Just one tile. Got a lot of stuff here today. Alright, we got our second tile. Here. Tiles are very cool. Again, I've shown you a lot of maps on our different unboxings that I've done over time. These are on a little bit of a larger scale because uh, they're not the normal uh, base size of the 25 or 28 millimeter. They're a little bit bigger. They might be 30 or 40 because they do have to fit the actual click on top of them. So they are a little bit larger to squares. So there you go. There's another tile right there. Here, how it looks. Another tile. Got some cool statues in the middle. Then we have Mount Olympus Outdoor. So you have the indoor and the outdoor. So again, taking a look at this tile here. Again, going around to show you the whole thing. So the tiles are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're eight by eight. Again, down here it tells you that is Mount Olympus Outdoor. I'm showing the map as they come along. Down here as well. And the numbers and letters will match up to tell you exactly how to lay them down on during when you're going to be having a fight. So as you can tell, they're all labeled and numbered. A9 to A16 on this one, and A9, B9, C9, D9, up to H9 on that side. 
my H16 in the corner down here. So it'll tell you exactly how to set this up. So like example, if I'm putting this board with this one, you'll see that that's 16, then it goes to 17, 18, 19, all the way down to 24. So it'll guide you and tell you which tiles you're using for which game you're playing or which mission you're on. Getting down here. Showing a crushed board here. And if you have any 3D terrain, of course, you can place it right in there as well if you want to change it up a bit. Again, see, so it starts at A1 and leads down to, it looks like, A24. So it could be a ginormous game board if you put all the tiles together. There's one side, and there's the other side. And there you have it. And we have our clicks. So the first click you have here is Silver Swan. Nice detail. And the click moves. Has all the superpowers on there. Has the title, the name of the character, what collection they're from. It'll tell you the point value that they have here. And that's just in the series, what number of the series it is. So again, that's Silver Swan, and all the, all the clicks are set up identically. You have this cool one, too. I, I really dig this one. This is your little, uh, the angler. You're going to have to read the rule book and see how this thing is used. This is pretty cool. I like that. It's kind of funky. All right, that's cool. Then you have Circe. This is an evil character. Again, I'll tell you what. Again, she's evil. Worth 50 points. The box that comes from figure number nine. Again, there you can see a little bit better. You've got your uh, movement. You've got your strength. You've got your defense. Uh, fighting ability. And then I forget what that one down there is for. But that's all the powers that your character has. There's Cersei. Then you have, of course, Wonder Woman herself. Cool miniature. Pre-painted, very cool. Nice, you got Wonder Woman, so she's the star of the show. We'll put her over here. Then we got, of course, Cheetah. Nice paint job again. We got the Cheetah. Dials are all the same again, worth 50 points. Then you have Donna Troy. And of course, when you're playing Hero Clicks, they have so many different variations from, from Marvel to DC. Of course, it's a DC set. You also have Star Trek. You also have all different kinds, so you can mix and match and set up the games as you would like. You have Wonder Girl. Gonna click her here. And they're always adding more and more figures so you'll never run out of characters that you wanna play. And they really have a huge, huge, huge um, amount of figures that you can purchase. You know, chase cards and stuff like that. Chase characters that you can do by, they come in cases that you can buy all the figures when, they, when they're released. That's Wonder Girl there. Then we also have Ms. Martian, which is right here. And if you want to, and if you want to just keep the figures and not use the bases, you can always clip the figures off the bases and create your own game as well, your own 28 millimeter game as well. Then we also have Mary Marvel. I like the fact that they do the bases this way. They used to have them on clear bases where the figure would be unattached and you'd have like a little peg on the bottom. You put the peg inside there. These are, they just look a lot better. They have a better feel than what the old figures used to have. So that's really, really cool advancement that uh, NECA and WizKids came up with. So that's very, very cool. Mary Shazam again, very cool figure. 
And then we've got this awesome lady here. Who is this? This is Medusa. And last but not least, you have, this one's a little trickier to get. She's blurring in now. That's Starfire. There she is. All right, so that's everything that's included. You got the dice, you got the cards, you got the figures, you got the game boards. Um, you've got uh, your scenarios, you've got your instructions, you've got your silica gel, you've got your different uh, information sheets here as well. And this is everything that's included, and this concludes our unboxing of Wonder Woman 8th Anniversary Miniatures Game, brought to you by WizKids and HeroClix, award-winning miniatures game. It's a game for ages 14 plus. And this game is for two, uh, one to two players. Uh, it, it takes 30 to 45 minutes to play for ages 14 and up. For more information, go to whizkids.com. And as always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, you could always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. You could also hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time you release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoying the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.